Hello there, and welcome to our talk show today. This is Liberty Christian Center, a ministry of Redeem Gospel Church, a church fellowship where everybody is somebody and Jesus Christ is Lord. My name is teacher Andrew Kaka. Uh, I'm joined today with, uh, uh, on my right, uh, this is, uh, please say your name. Hi, I am Worship Shekaina, turning 16 soon. And I'm happy to be here. Now, the good thing with being 16 is that you never go beyond that mark. <laughs> yeah, you always stick there. Yeah. So from next year, you still continue saying that you're still 16. Okay? It is a very, very sweet age. Thank you. Worship, <laughs> thank you for joining us today. You're welcome. And welcome to the talk show. Thank you. Now, on my left, uh, we are so privileged to have uh, one of our very, very dear friends. Um, now, I don't want to introduce him. I want to give him the chance to introduce himself and uh, basically tell us why we are here. All right. Yes. Um, thank you so much. Uh, my name is Douglas Angogo. I'm happy to be at Liberty Church. Um, I'm married to one wife uh, I call Catherine. She's the most beautiful woman on planet Earth as per now. Hey, hey. Okay. And um, we are blessed with two daughters, Sifa and Shama. And I love God, I'm born again, and I'm a minister of the word of God. 
I'm also an author and also a leadership coach and a blogger. Thank you so much, Pastor Douglas. Yeah, I know we shall be diving deeper into understanding some of uh, the works you've been doing. Now, before we proceed any further, let me allow worship uh, some time to, uh, to give us an opening prayer. Then we dive straight into the topic. Worship, okay. go ahead. Okay, let's pray. Father, I want to thank you for this beautiful day that you've made, Lord. Mm. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for uh, this day. We want to thank you for everything that you've done in our lives and for helping us to be here today. We don't take it for granted that we are having this uh, talk show mm. and that you have uh, brought to us Pastor Douglas, who's mm. here with us. Mm. We are grateful for his presence and for your presence, Lord. Mm. So please go with us and help us even as we learn. Uh, with each other and as we teach all those people who are watching mm. be with us and please protect us mm. in jesus name i pray amen. amen 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 now we have to digest a topic and the topic is uh teen and sex now i know when the word sex is mentioned i know some people look down others start fidgeting others look at who is around the room before they say something now, we are here to call a spade a spade and not a spatula. So, dad and mom, if you're there, I mean, just take your seat, relax. Let's talk about this topic. Because uh, if we don't talk about it today, we shall just have our children getting information from elsewhere. But have the courage to sit down. Mom, was this song? Kapale. And to my fellow teens, guys, relax there. Let's talk about this topic for us to equip ourselves with the correct knowledge and correct information, for us to know how we can basically affect the world outside there. Now, as we start this topic, worship. Yes. Among us your peers, mm -hmm. something has been happening. Recently, mm -hmm. uh, we had that 41,000 teens mm -hmm were infected with HIV, all right? Yeah. Now, the 41,000, it is excluding those who got pregnant without HIV, even those who did not get pregnant and also not infected with HIV. So bottom line is, there is sexual activity happening within our teens. Yeah. Now, some of the NGOs have been doing some statistics, and 80% of the teens, according to their statistics, they are sexually active. That means when you pick like around 10 teens, eight of them are sexually active. Now, worship, I want to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Are these statistics believable? Um, okay, I think I trust them. Because uh, if it's a non-governmental organization and they have done the research, they know, and uh, they went in there, they looked for the numbers, they have analyzed everything, I think I can trust that that number is accurate or may be accurate. But I feel like uh, there are some people, bado wako chini ya maji, wenye hawajone kana. So maybe the, the, I don't know, when was the research Taken, please, because it looks like there, there's like still more. Uh -huh. There's a, uh, yeah. We are talking of the, the month of August, high. August 2020. August yeah. 2020. Yeah, this is, uh, this is December. This I don't December. know, maybe five people were added there <laughs> during I think, the... <laughs> I think I get your point. Yeah. So basically what you're saying is that this number could actually be more. Yeah. So that means uh, there's a problem in society. True. Technically, not really a problem, but I feel like since we are teenagers and our hormones are running wild, mm -hmm. so I think it's just something we need to discuss so that, yeah. So basically, you, uh, teens need help, in short. A lot, a okay. lot of help. Okay. Yeah. And uh, now, have you, uh, uh, you and your peers, mm -hmm. do you guys seek for help? Or has help found you guys? Yes. I mean, we have you here. Ah, okay. And you teach us now a lot. you want me to blush? I will not. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a nice compliment. So, yeah. Thank thanks you. Thanks to, yeah, since you're here, you teach us a lot. But I feel like um, 
we are doing this because of those people who have not gotten the information yet. Mm -hmm. So this is for all those people who have no idea what you're talking about. Mm. So yeah, mm. I'm grateful that you guys are here and we have a lot of teachers. Mm -hmm. And these days it's really, um, it's a wild topic mm -hmm. in school because mm. the teachers are getting into it. Okay. But it's nice to talk about it once in a while. Okay. Yeah. And uh, whatever teachers are teaching us in school, is it, is, is it having an impact? I, I believe it is uh -huh. because they go to the scientific point of it mm. and sometimes the spiritual point of view. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel like if you actually have, if you know something, mm. even if it's just a small portion of mm. knowledge, mm. it's better than not knowing at all. Okay. So I believe they're helping us, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Pastor Douglas, let yes. me now bring you aboard. Yes. Now, you realize uh, the statistics we've just shared. Yes. Uh, worship says that they are basically understated. Right now, I know you've taken your time to do a lot of research yes. uh, on teens touching sex. You've uh, actually you, you are a miss of the word. Yes. You talk about the same subject. You are an author. Yes. Now let me start here. Why teens? Why did you choose to minister to teens? Um, I'll say I didn't choose, mm -hmm. um, but I was called to do that. Uh -huh. uh, because um, maybe one thing that I always say is, uh, if you do ministry. Mm -hmm. um, without these two things. If you don't have a call and mm -hmm. passion for it, mm -hmm. then you won't succeed. Correct. So the call that um, I have, a call from God to really minister to the youth, Correct. that is the teenagers, mm -hmm. and uh, having the passion also to see uh, us raising against that is different. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, if you don't intervene, because most of the parents or most of the, what the government is doing now mm -hmm. is we are, we are treating the symptoms. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. We are not really going to the predisposing factors. What yes. are the causes for teenagers involving into these be bizarre behaviors? Yeah. So most of us are like, let's treat the symptoms. And mm -hmm. that's why you find that now we're bringing in, mm -hmm. I'm sorry to say that, uh, the issue of contraceptives mm -hmm. and condoms, which mm -hmm. are so much available for the teenagers. Mm -hmm. um, I'll say that I was doing a, a research that given organization, uh, just a health research, mm -hmm. And uh, we were going to various hospitals to just do a few things. Mm -hmm. And we discovered that uh, some of the places we go to, you ask them whether they ever run out of condoms. Mm -hmm. And they say that every time the students are at home, mm. the condoms run out every time. Mm. So it means they're very active. Mm. So we are really treating the symptoms mm -hmm. and not going to the core root because mm. I believe that things like contraceptives mm -hmm. should be given to women who are in labor. Mm -hmm. or maternity ward, mm -hmm. if you're married, mm -hmm. but not to a young girl mm -hmm. who is still having a future. Once mm -hmm. you give an option, mm -hmm. then it means they'll be able to do whatever they want to do because mm -hmm. there's an option out of it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's why I feel like we need to address the issue. Okay. And that is probably speak the truth. Yeah. Because the Bible speaks about the only way to uh, avoid fornication mm -hmm. is abstinence. Mm -hmm. There's a book of uh, 1 Thessalonians 3 verse 4. Yes that flee youthful lust, mm -hmm. abstain. I would just say to me a condom, mm -hmm. uh, Dr. C.D., mm -hmm. or flee when there's no option. It's mm -hmm. when that symptoms appears. Yes. They just flee. Mm -hmm. yeah. so the Joseph like, style. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just run away from it. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, looking at the statistics that yeah. you've seen, 41,000 teens mm -hmm. infected with HIV. Now, I'll just do, you know, doing it now on the flip side. Uh, we're not talking of those who are uh, pregnant, yeah. those who are not pregnant. And, uh, you know, that means the sexual activity is very, very high. At the point where things are now getting infected with HIV, yeah. uh, I think there is a bigger underlying issues. Now, you talked of we are just treating the symptoms. Yeah. Could you talk about the root cause? Um, I think the root cause of all this is, uh, let me say this. It's always said that the, uh, the morality of a given society mm -hmm. or country mm -hmm. depends on the type of music that is being played or that is popular at that time. Ah. And ah. that is the standard. Okay. And you can discover right now the popular music or the mm -hmm. type of music that people are listening to right now, and especially the teenagers, yes. will show you or will really bring out the picture of how the society is. Mm -hmm. So you cannot really separate the music that is being played mm -hmm and the moral standards of the teenagers. And those music, mm -hmm. they basically target the teenagers. Mm -hmm. So one thing we need to do is we need to really uh, work on the morals. Uh, I think uh, 
the best way is to really instill good morals mm -hmm. in our teenagers. Okay. Where they should understand uh, what the Bible speaks about. Mm -hmm. Let's bring people back to the concept of mm -hmm. the Bible because you see, uh, God is the one who initiated relationships, mm. and that is between Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. So the first author of sex, he understands sex, mm. and he gives the, the, the enjoyment of sex, where people should enjoy sex, mm. he gives the context, mm -hmm. which is in marriage, yes. and he de divides everyone from enjoying sex within mm -hmm. or outside the context of outside marriage. The correct, uh -huh. So once you bring people back to what the author talks about uh, sex, mm -hmm. and let them understand the when, when God talks about uh, uh, in the book of Ephesians 5, verse 3, that but among all of us, mm. but among you, there should not be any hint of sexual immorality. Mm. Mm. So when people understand what God means by, by saying a hint, mm. then we can't go to the contraceptives. Mm -hmm. Because you mm -hmm. see, a contraceptive mm. is a hint mm. that I can have sex mm. because I have a condom. Mm -hmm. So once you give someone a condom, mm. already you've given him a hint, what am I using it? Is it for drawing exactly. water? <laughs> no. No, it's not for no. drawing water. You know? Yeah, is it for probably um, Christmas tree? It no. can't function. No, Christmas it can't. Tree. So whatever comes to their mind is, I have this, and they need to look for someone to have sex. With. Exactly. And if they don't have that, mm -hmm. they can't control themselves. So let mm -hmm. people come back to the cross. Mm -hmm. What does the Bible say? Flee. Yes. Let there not be any hint. Mm -hmm. So the best thing is, can we instill good morals to our mm -hmm. teenagers? To our teens. Tell them this is wrong. Mm. Uh, because I think uh, maybe I can, I can maybe even talk to uh, uh, worship. Mm -hmm. You see, most teenagers go for what is easy than choosing mm -hmm. what is right. Mm -hmm. So the best thing for them to do is wait, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. zip up, mm -hmm. don't do it. Mm -hmm. But the easy way is I can still protect myself from mm -hmm. being pregnant, mm -hmm. but I have sex. So that's the easy way yeah, out. That's the easy so way let's out, help yeah. people to go back to what is the hardest way out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we have a lot of people in the Bible that had all the options mm. to do the easy way out, mm -hmm. but they choose to do the, the right way. The right way. Okay. Yeah. Now you mentioned something to do with uh, with the music. I would like you to dwell there a bit. Yeah. Uh, you know, music. We access music uh, from uh, different sites. We have the TV. We have the net. All those places. How is music affecting us? And please describe that music so that at least even parents are able to understand what you're talking about here. I think one thing I'll even maybe, let me ask her because she's mm -hmm. 16. Eh? Yes. <laughs> um, if there's any music that you can put on your TV and you're alone, mm -hmm. because mom is not there or dad is not there, mm -hmm. and then accidentally you hear a knock on the door mm -hmm. and mom is getting in and is knocking the door so that you can open. Mm -hmm. There are two things. You need to open the door and you have a remote in your hand. So <laughs> if you're going to choose to switch the channel first, uh -huh. then open the door, yes. then understand that that music is not appropriate for it's you. Not appropriate. True. But if you're going to choose to open the door and then come back mm -hmm. and adjust the volume high so that mom can listen to what you're listening to, mm -hmm. that is a good music. So that's how you're supposed to get it. So it's like a guilt feeling when yes. you're taking the remote. Like... Yes, you're choosing to change the channel first to take it back to Hope FM, mm -hmm. Hope TV, then you open the door. <laughs> then mm -hmm. tell mama I was drinking some more, I was, I was in the kitchen then. Uh -huh. That is not the right music for you. Uh -huh. Worship, you getting the message? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh -huh. that's what happens. Mm -hmm. Because what you can't watch with your mom mm -hmm. or your dad, mm -hmm. then please don't watch it. Mm -hmm. Then don't even decide to watch it alone. Mm. Uh, because um, every music that is being played that is secular, mm -hmm. secular music, because uh, music is a, it, it, it has a spirit without, behind it. Every music has a mm, spirit behind it. Mm, mm. If it's a gospel music, it has the spirit of God behind it. Yes. And gospel means the music that glorifies God. Mm -hmm. If it's a secular music, there's a spirit behind it. Mm -hmm. There's some target spirit that is supposed to be glorified. Mm. So when you listen to any secular music, understand as a teenager that any sexual scene in it is a hook mm -hmm. to take you to the last. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. The secular music that we're listening right now, every time every teenager that sing them in the, in, in the, in the, in the corridors or mm. the street, mm. is a hook that is telling them. There's mm. a speed behind it. Mm -hmm. And the main target for that is to lure them into a sexual scene. Mm. And you can be able to see the naked women dancing along and all those mm -hmm. words are being spoken. Mm. The, the main purpose is to hook you out of the love of Christ mm. and take you to where lust steals your soul. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And does that... Uh, you know, you know uh, the way you describe it, the images that are flowing through, uh, you know, through that screen whenever, whenever they are watching. Now that reminds me of something. 
The mind is a very, very powerful tool. It records it. And then the same, same way we meditate mm. on the word of God, it is the same, same way now we meditate upon this particular music. Okay, and then it now forms now ideas in our minds to start now practicing those things. Does that sound real? Yeah, I, um, of course music is like a powerful tool. Mm. And um, uh, it, 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 it ministers to our conscious and subconscious mind. Mm -hmm. So, uneza kwa pu meketi unajiambia, ah, I will never do these things. Mm -hmm. But then in the real life, as in, in the real situation, mm -hmm. it's also talking to your subconscious mm -hmm. mind. So you'll just find yourself doing it and then you're like, wow, mm -hmm. what am I doing? Mm -hmm. This is not me. Mm -hmm. So then you start having that guilt and then you're like, where did I get this? So maybe you're getting it from the music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And teens are watching this music a lot. Right? Yeah, I, I think um, it's like a youth, a youth trend because mm -hmm. uh, um, I feel like we usually go where the crowd leads us. You know, we uh -huh. are at this age whereby we cannot speak for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Well, most of us can't speak for ourselves. Mm -hmm. So we, we just, we tend to follow. Mm -hmm. We tend to have the, you know, the peer pressure kind of okay. thing. Okay. Yeah, so, because uh, mm -hmm. to be a loner, mm -hmm. you want mm -hmm. to be with, with the popular kids and, mm -hmm. you know, you want to walk with them, and they're like, eh, mm -hmm. uyo, respect, mm -hmm. bro. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I feel like we, we usually go to <laughs> where the crowd takes us. Okay. Yeah. Now, and what happens with you when uh, when uh, you don't follow the crowd? For instance, you choose not follow the crowd. <coughs> what is um, the worst that can happen to you? Um, I don't think uh, actually the worst could happen. I actually like not following the crowd because um, where the crowd is taking you, you need to decide, is it like a positive thing or a negative thing? So where the crowd is leading you, you need to be smart enough mm -hmm. to know that, okay, this is not right. Mm. And plus the funny thing, you know, in high school, it feels like everything, as in when something bad happens, it's mm. the end of the world. Mm -hmm. And of which you will graduate and you'll go to college. You won't even remember those people. Mm -hmm. So the same people that you are flowing with, yes. you will not remember each other. You, you have your own lives. Mm. So mm. now it's you to decide mm -hmm. which life you want to pick for yourself. Mm. Yeah, I feel like that's a personal thing. It is a personal. And now because it is personal, I think that is where there's a big, uh, the biggest problem because uh, people are now making personal choices. Yeah. And some of them, you know, it is leading them to a wrong path. True. I think the reason as to why we are talking today. True. Now, uh, now that Pastor Douglas is here, now I want us to look at some, some of the myths that, you know, uh, teens have about, about this topic of sex. Okay. Uh, what, what are these myths surrounding the subject of, of sex? Um, we, okay, we have a lot of myths, mm. but I just took a <laughs> few of them. Yes. Um, I feel like the first one, Pastor Douglas, we have this question of why not me? Uh, it's the same thing relating to peer pressure, but I feel like it's leaning towards the boy's sana. Because, you know, for a girl to, to actually think about the thought of losing their virginity and everything, as in this, that feeling, you know, okay, no, maybe I can wait. But for boys, they're like, it's not like, wow, what a pata ball or anything. So they're like, as in, you can find their friends are like, wow, bado, bado, what are you waiting for? Yeah, so as in, I find like most, um, Boys, as in the, the for example, with, especially with the, with the, with the Western culture, mm -hmm. you know, they, they don't really take this seriously, mm -hmm. especially around the male gender, because mm -hmm. they're like, what are you waiting for? What is there to lose? Mm -hmm. It's not like something bad will actually happen to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I feel like our boys are really in <laughs> trouble, because uh. why not them? Uh -huh. Yeah, because if my friends are actually doing it, uh -huh. my friends are there uh -huh. hanging out with the chicks and banging them. So why am I sitting here? What but am I again, waiting for? But again, they are for? not doing alone. Yeah, they why? They are not doing alone. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, so, you guys are also involved. Exactly. Uh -huh. So I, I, I don't know. So tell us, Pastor Douglas. Pastor Douglas, why not me? Why not yeah, why yeah, not everybody me? is doing it. I mean, yeah. uh, it is. Uh, that's the trend. What am I waiting for? Yeah, but I think what uh, worship said about <laughs> peer pressure. Uh huh. Uh, I think. And I think we need to bring back people to, to understand who they are. Go back to the book of Genesis, when God created Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. Those are the only people he said that he created in the image and likeness of God. Mm -hmm. And once someone understands the identity, mm -hmm. uh, who they are in Christ, mm -hmm. not who they are in society, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not who they are in that clique of boys and girls, mm -hmm. not who they are in that school mm -hmm. or in that probably uh, Kigenge, my boys. Eh? Mm -hmm. so, 
the identity part of it is the biggest issue right now to the teenagers. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, I really pray that people like worship will grow mm -hmm. and stand out knowing who they are, mm -hmm. even if they don't practice sex mm -hmm. before marriage. Mm -hmm. Because uh, you don't get your identity by how many men you sleep with or how many ladies you sleep with. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, what, uh, uh, what, what sex does before marriage or what infidelity does in marriage mm -hmm. or fornication is it gets off your identity. Mm. And mm -hmm. that's why when someone gets into probably, uh, maybe if I go back to the book, the Bible, the story of, uh, uh, of uh, Tamar mm -hmm. and Judah, the book okay. of Genesis 38. Yeah. Uh, after all those incidences, if you read the whole book, you find that now Judah had to sleep with Tamar mm -hmm. unknowingly mm. because after uh, 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 the wife to Judah died mm. and then uh, Tamar was, had remained as a widow. Mm. So Judah, uh, because of his nature, it was in his blood, mm. it was so much, uh, uh, let me call it in quotes for Miss Quest, mm -hmm. because he told the, the son to sleep with the, uh, 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 the, the sister-in-law, mm. because the husband to the sister had died. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he's someone who was so much into the negative part of uh, fidelity, and mm -hmm. he, he so married a Canaanite. Mm -hmm. So really that now when uh, uh, Tamar uh, uh, realized that this guy had gone to probably to share his ship, Alikachina mm. Kajifunika, and that's what now last does. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. He covered himself to mm. look like someone different. Mm -hmm. She was a widow. Mm -hmm. So when this guy was coming back, he didn't know. He didn't know. Yeah. He saw a beautiful lady. Yeah. And one thing we should understand, even as teenagers, mm. that last will always uh, uh, pretend to be something nice. Mm -hmm. And that's the Bible said that the lips of an adulterous woman mm. drips like honey. Mm -hmm. So it is not real honey, but like like, honey. like. it's mm -hmm. not real honey. Mm -hmm. for, for the men, for the boys who want to try it, it is not honey. Mm -hmm. it, it is, is like. just like honey. Uh -huh. So you better wait and take your honey <laughs> during the honeymoon, uh -huh. because the honey in the honeymoon is the real honey. Uh -huh. So this guy comes up, then goes sleep with this guy, this lady. This lady said that before I sleep with you, give me a promise. Exactly. This guy say, okay, exactly. what do you want? I'll uh -huh. give you... Uh, one of my rams. This yeah. lady said, no, no, I don't want a ram. Uh -huh. and, and I think that's what we should understand as teenagers. Mm. And I really put emphasis on new worship, mm -hmm. being mm -hmm. on the panel. Yeah? Mm. Because anytime love demands, then it is last. Mm -hmm. Anytime mm -hmm. it demands, it is last. Mm -hmm. If it demands identity, it demands entitlement, mm -hmm. or it demands position that mm -hmm. then yeah. that is not love. Yeah. Yeah. That is last. So this lady said, no, don't give me that. Then he said, give me something different. This guy mm -hmm. said, no, do, do what? I'll mm -hmm. give you. Uh, this lady said, give me uh, your stick. It, it was a club, actually, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, give me your yardstick mm -hmm. and probably, uh, even if it's our talk, you know, the, 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 the ornament things that show yes. that you're a king. Uh -huh. This guy gives out. Uh -huh. And Judah gives out to Tama and then sleep with Tama. Mm -hmm. This lady becomes pregnant. Mm -hmm. And after that, this guy is looking back for whatever he owned. Mm -hmm. He discovered that it has been taken away from him. Mm. And that's what now last does. Okay. So anyone who wants to really stand out for purity mm -hmm. should stand out because the standard for purity is Christ. Mm -hmm. But for you to be able to, uh, like you said, the peer pressure, to navigate peer pressure is understand just who you are. Mm -hmm. I always say this, the three H, whose you are, mm -hmm. whom who you are, mm -hmm. and who you are. Mm -hmm. Because understand whose you are, mm -hmm. who you are, Yes. And probably where you want to go, let me say you want to go, yes. you're, you're where you want to go, the position, yeah. then you know what you're supposed to do. Mm. So let people not push you into sex because once you get like, so you get pregnant, if you're a man, uh, a lady, or a man, let me say this thing will affect you. Yes, you will escape pregnancy mm. or being uh, probably seen, mm. but you will never have uh, maybe the way to deal with the heartbeat mm -hmm. or a depression. Mm -hmm. Or mm -hmm. 10 years to come, someone say that, I... I have his kid. Mm. And that time you have a name, yeah. you have a title, mm. and it goes down. Mm. Yeah. So peer pressure is not the standard. Just mm -hmm. just avoid it. Mm -hmm. You talked about hormones. Yeah. Yeah, and by that I think yeah. I, I think this hormone thing is uh I heard is about the hormone thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah, you know they they accelerate the velocity of the yeah, body. It, it, yeah. This thing is uh -huh. too hot. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's too hot, yeah? Yeah. No problem. But you know what? Um even during our days, there were hormones. Only as we are created a lot of cement. <laughs> True. There were hormones. Yeah? And I think uh, uh, Andrew will say you that it's just the principles. Yeah. Yeah. When once you go back to the principles of uh, purity is Christ, then mm -hmm. 
the hormones in themselves will not be a problem to you because God Himself created the sexual urge. Very true. And that's why He created Adam and Eve. Anger, anger, anger create Adam and Eve. Come on, we're going to have sexual attraction. Mm, mm, mm. Anger create both Adam and na, 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 na David. Yeah. But He knew that these two opposite sex attract one another. But at the right time, mm -hmm. yeah, there's no, um, there's, there's, there's no. Let me use the right word. There's no crime mm -hmm. that you'll have committed mm -hmm. if you don't sleep with any lady mm -hmm. if you get married. Mm -hmm. But there's a bigger crime that you'll have mm -hmm. if you sleep with someone mm -hmm. if you get married because of the repercussions that very many. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Now, uh, le let me take you back to the story of Judah. Yeah. Now, when he slept with that is Tamar. Yeah. You realize that he left the club. Yes. Now, you know the club is a symbol of authority. Yes. The symbol of uh, kingship. I get you, man. And uh, he left it down there. Yes. So that means when you when you practice sex outside marriage, yes. it means you're leaving your identity down there. You put it right, right? man. You, you know, you right. leave your identity down there, and uh, you're looking for identity because of the trend. You're leaving it down there. Let so me put it right this way. Yes. The moment you lose putting your pants down, yes. you're putting down your identity, uh -huh. your future, yes. your title, uh -huh. and who you belong. Who exactly, you exactly. So anyone who is trying to get into the same before marriage, just uh -huh. know that once you start putting off those clothes, uh -huh. you're putting off who you are. Exactly. And speaking of uh, uh, lust, the difference between lust and love, and with all the hormonal changes, um, I feel for, for teenagers, you know, we, for example, I'm in high school and my desk mate is like a guy and I really feel drawn to him. So yeah, we start dating and then he becomes my boyfriend and you know, he's really nice and sweet and everything. And so I might feel like, um, like I owe him something because he does a lot for me and I owe him something. So how, how mm -hmm. would, for most people, how most girls would react, I'd be like, okay, maybe I am considering having sex with him because he's an amazing person and I feel like he deserves a lot because we feel like we don't give guys mm -hmm. as much because, you know, us ladies, we like talking about our problems and everything and men don't really care about those things. Uh -huh. yeah. So you're always on the receiving end. You're Ex the one who's receiving exactly. and always so giving. Exactly. So they don't want to, to, uh -huh. to get much into the emotional part of it. Uh -huh. It depends on the relationship, uh -huh. but I feel most men are not comfortable in the emo emotional part. Uh -huh. So I, I'll feel like, okay, I should give him something. As or I maybe want. Exactly. Or maybe, maybe when the relationship is not going well and I feel like he's going to leave me and since I don't want to be dumped uh -huh. and I yeah so I don't I don't want that so I feel like okay maybe I should consider giving him sex so that uh -huh. he can stay uh -huh. so yeah what can you say about that because that is messed up uh -huh. I think that's what to say uh -huh. about the might eh? it's just part of them many that you're bringing up mm -hmm. uh -huh. misconception about sex mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, and, and for sure even if you give him sex if you want to leave it still leave you Part of it. Okay. You hear that, please? Yeah, you that know, we are talking as boys. Eh? We are talking as boys. That is yeah. fact. He will, <laughs> you, he will sleep with you yeah. and leave you. Mm -hmm. So, gifting him the sex uh -huh. is not really uh, like a cementing love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because one thing that love does, and, and I think uh, any teenager who is around there should write this one down mm. and always remember this. Mm. Last, last says, let's do it before everyone knows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Knows. That mm -hmm. is last. Let us do it before everyone knows. Mm -hmm. Love says, wait until everyone knows. Wow. Uh -huh. so that was That's a very powerful statement. Fact. Very, very powerful statement. Because yes. if he loves you, mm -hmm. he will wait. Mm -hmm. Love is patient. Mm -hmm. Love is kind. Love does not seek its own. Yeah. Correct. And, and love does not really demand. Mm. So if, if you see him demanding, then he's not acting out of love. Mm. He's acting mm -hmm. out of lust. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, when you want to give, one thing that I always tell people is, and ladies, mm -hmm. this is so much for ladies, sex is a gift. Sex is a gift not to your boyfriend, mm -hmm. not to a sugar mommy, not to a Kodi Kodi. Mm. And I know most mm. high schoolers and college girls, I don't know if it's always in those guys <laughs> that we don't have anyway. <laughs> have price, they don't have price. <laughs> Thank you, Jasho. That was a story in Mombasa, I think, yes, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, if, 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 if he has to demand for that, sex is a gift from God. And if I go back to what I was saying, it's a gift from God. Mm. 
to be given or to be unpacked mm. to your husband if mm -hmm. you ever get married. Mm -hmm. you, the only person who's supposed to unpack your that gift mm -hmm. is your husband mm -hmm. in the presence of God. Yeah, but I'll pay Yeah. Na si le katikati na hii the third. Abana. Hii hii acha na hii this one. Yeah. This one. So even if a guy gives you that ring and you are not you see if this guy cannot take you home to mm -hmm. the parents mm -hmm. and you don't know, date mm -hmm. let me put in quotes mm -hmm. worship is taken by another guy called Blessed. I don't know mm -hmm. there's someone called Blessed. Na sema na kufanya kwa kwa zazi wa kwa 14 na kwa kwa zambe dad. And now you're the dad I want to marry yes. this lady. Uh -huh. If this guy has no confidence doing that. Yes. Uh -huh. He's not ready to marry you. So please, this thing is a pack. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a gift to be enjoyed by your husband. Yes. If you're a lady, mm -hmm. and by your wife if you're a man. Mm. So stop unpacking your gift to everyone else. Mm -hmm. You talked about something, uh, I, th I think I, I heard you say something about everyone is doing it. Mm -hmm. I think it's probably what you wanted to ask us. Yeah. yeah. I don't think everyone is doing it. Because mm -hmm. you're not doing it. True. So, so yeah, so everyone is not doing it. <laughs> it Stay true to yourself. <laughs> You're not doing it, so look at what yeah. he's doing. Who told if, everyone is doing it? If it's only me and you, we can stay like that. So yes. don't give in to peer pressure. <laughs> and I think, Pastor, you say something, something very, very interesting. Uh, now, let me speak as a boy, right? Yeah, the boy child. Yeah, the boy child. Yes. <laughs> now you realize uh, the, moment, the moment the girl opens the legs for the boy, Mm -hmm. And then the boys, you know, gets inside. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is the end of your relationship. Yeah. Oh God. That is the end. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, finally he's gotten what he What's wants. Wanted. You exactly. see, men are born hunters. Uh -huh. Right? They keep on hunting. The moment they, you know, uh, uh, you know they get the hunt, mm -hmm. I mean, they look for the next challenge. So you're no longer a challenge. So they look for the next challenge. Mm -hmm. So you are just like a duster. So they bypass you. Who is the next challenge? Uh -huh. Yeah, she's the one now I now need to pursue. So but that is now how the mind of the boy works. And I think one thing that they should understand, mm. if there's any lady here who is a teenager watching us, that last has an expiry date. Uh -huh. Correct. So it is temporary. Okay. It's temporary. It's temporary, yes. It is not really. Uh -huh. That's why you see, for God so loved the world that uh -huh. He gave His only begotten Son. Yeah. And we're still enjoying that mm -hmm. 2,000 years back. Down the line. And still going. And still mm -hmm. going. Yes. True love. That is true love. Uh -huh. Yeah. Last, always, like you said, uh -huh. it's, it has a timeline. Uh -huh. Once it achieves its Purpose. selfish uh -huh. ambition, yes. Ambition, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the right one. It is done. Selfish uh -huh. ambition. Yeah. Then it is done. Yeah. It so ends there. It ends there. Then another last then grows another up. Another last grows up. Uh -huh. Because last comes out of what you watch. Let's talk about music. Uh -huh. Like mm -hmm. she said, you listen to it every day. It, it's obvious. I think you have kids in your house. Mm. I have kids in my house. Mm. I'm five years old. Mm. Of course, in our house, we play what you know. Mm -hmm. We don't play what you think. Mm -hmm. So we play all the gospel <laughs> music. And this five years old kid, even the small one is two years will start singing along those songs uh -huh. that we are playing in the house. Uh -huh. So I always imagine, if I'm playing the genge tone, exactly. to a two mm -hmm. years old, by the time uh -huh. I'm five years old, I'm going to be a mayor, a com, any year, it has to be. <laughs> yes. Okay. yes, yes. So whatever you feed, that's mm -hmm. what now you feed, you feed last. Uh -huh. And you remember what, the story of Potiphar's wife and, uh, uh, and, and Joseph? And Joseph, yes. It was not our first day attempt. No, no, no. It takes time. Yeah. And by the aha, now you said it right. Because some people say, I don't even know what happened. Yes. I think we just found ourselves and you know it happened. No, it doesn't just happen. Mm -hmm. It is a process. Unless it's a rape case. <laughs> <laughs> and even if it is a rape case, yes. eh, it doesn't just happen. Yes. It is a process. The process. It is a process that comes to now place when now it is happening. Mm -hmm. So it takes quite a while mm -hmm. for it now materialize into now this thing that you are now calling. Yeah. Uh, sex before marriage, mm -hmm. okay? There's a process. There's a process. Because yeah. this guy started pursuing him. Yeah. And that's why Potiphar's wife persuaded this guy more Just than say, once. For quite a while. The first time, mm -hmm. yes. second time, mm -hmm. third time, now last always, uh, and, and, and I want all of us to listen to this, every mm -hmm. teenager, mm -hmm. and even for the parents, last uh, thrives in secrecy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you're alone, mm -hmm. on your phone, mm -hmm. going through all those video chats, yes. mm -hmm. uh, going through all those songs, mm -hmm. that's now where last now start brooding. It, mm. it really penetrates 
in the secrecy. Mm -hmm. Love flows mm -hmm. when people are watching. Mm -hmm. That's when people are in love, true love. Yes. They will say hi, they will hug one another. Probably. Exactly. If you can't hug that lady when you're all, all your mom is, then uh -huh. you're acting out of lust. Correct. So this guy persuaded this guy. The last day from now, uh, also Menda Koshamba. Hey, so, Hawako. Good job. Yes. Yeah. And if, if you're saying anyone is doing it, why is it that Joseph didn't do it? Aliona Miss Kolum Dema may dress mm -hmm. <laughs> Demo King. Yeah. I know. I feel like everyone should like to respect him because for especially for a guy to be able to turn down something like that. And right now you you're completely aroused and the lady is there and I'm sure she was very beautiful and there's no way in the Bible were told that he was in a relationship or something yeah, no. so i'm sure it was really hard for him but thank you for not giving in to that uh -huh. you are a role model exactly yeah exactly. The thing, and you see like you're saying um i always say if a man can have a miss call uh -huh. because you see god is so much responsible for wiring us to react that way but for you to put a miss call uh -huh. you can see, decide to receive that call, if uh -huh. call yeah not. exactly Exactly. Yeah. And that's a missed call. Exactly. So if this lady presents herself, mm. or probably a man, a, a teenage boy is just treating this lady as a sister, but this lady is coming so closer. Uh -huh. If this guy can say no, mm. then he becomes a hero. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, I'll put this more emphasis because I have two daughters who are young. Yes. And this is now to you. Uh -huh. That mm -hmm. uh, the, the greatest kind that you can have a have is when you say no to sex. And the missed call we are talking about, eh? Yeah. Make sure that you register okay, a missed call. Yeah. yeah, all the time. Okay, you miss call. Yeah. Yeah. And you see, uh, uh, when you'll be called a coward if you don't engage with sex. Mm -hmm. True. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Only cowards run away from sex. Mm -hmm. yeah. So let them mm -hmm. call you a coward because mm -hmm. you ran away, you didn't mm -hmm. have sex, mm -hmm. and later on they'll thank you because chose the best out of it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. In fact, before we started, uh, mm -hmm. we were having a conversation with, uh, with worship, mm. uh -huh. and uh, we were defining the term health, the way WHO defines health. And uh, it touched actually three areas. It talks of uh, physical, mental, and social well-being. But I think there's a part it left out. Yeah, spiritual. The spiritual. The spiritual wellness. Mm. I think it is something WHO left out when defining health. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, you know, worship was mentioning something to do with uh, masturbation, mm -hmm. and sure. uh, scientists are saying that masturbation is actually healthy, you know, uh, for people to, you know, to just practice. And uh, we dived into that discussion. Yeah. And now we had this analogy, anything you do, it is an act of worship. Mm -hmm. How you think, how you speak, and how you act, it is basically an act of worship. Now, God is waiting for, you know, worship is also a sacrifice, a sacrifice, right? So God is waiting for this sacrifice. Mm. If God is not receiving the sacrifice, then the devil is, all right? Yeah, yeah. So now, uh, anything you think about, you're basically giving a sacrifice of worship. So either God or the devil is receiving that sacrifice. So the same way, when you do, when you practice sex before marriage, mm -hmm. it is also an act of worship. But who are you worshiping? You're basically worshiping the devil. So now that is the sacrifice you are giving the devil. And the moment you start, you open a door. And there is this one demon assigned to always claim that sacrifice, all right? So the moment you engage into that act, your body becomes, I, I, I like Pastor Maurice Olo, you know, he was, uh, he was uh, describing that, that now your body becomes an altar. Mm -hmm. The act becomes the sacrifice that you are, you are now giving to the devil. So guys, everything you do, Make sure that you're giving God that sacrifice of worship. Because if God is not receiving that worship, then it means you're basically it. giving it to the Someone devil. Else. All right. Now, Pastor Douglas is an author. You've written several books. And there is one here. Worship has already grabbed it. Yes. <laughs> uh, it, is, uh, it, is, uh, it is called uh, I Will Wet, Set Apart. Yeah. Okay? This is, uh, this is, uh, this is uh, a teen's guidebook on sexual purity. Now, these books are here with us. Uh, I, have, I have copies. Of course, uh, you will get more details. Uh, please get in touch. You get a copy of this book. It is an amazing book. It is very, very brief. 
and uh, exact on the topics that you know we are talking about. Uh, it has uh, six chapters. Yeah. And guys, make sure that you have a copy of this book. Pastor Douglas, I think those of us who came to the camp last year, Pastor Douglas came together with, uh, with his wife. So unfortunately this year we didn't have the camp. Uh, but of course, those of us who were at the camp, uh, he took us through, what was that book? God, me, and sex. God, yes. me, and sex. Ah, now I remember. <laughs> God, me, and sex. I know. Yeah, I was telling you about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Worship remembers, yeah. and uh, I think at that time we didn't know how the two hours ended. Uh, yeah. It was very, very short because we dived into some issues that were so real and mm -hmm. so practical in our lives. So once again, there is another book here. God set apart, I will wait. This is a teen guide to help us into sexual purity. So guys, get in touch. Uh, there's some numbers that have been shared on our screen. Uh, just call that numbers. Most of you have my number, please call me. I will make sure that I get you a copy, okay? Call me, I'll get you a copy. Uh, Pastor Douglas, yes. tell us more about this book as we finish up the discussion. Well, um, I think basically what we have discussed today is part of this book. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, uh, the purity defined, that is the four, as the three aspects of sexual purity, the purity, that mm -hmm. is the physical purity, yes. we have emotional purity, and then psychological purity. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 also we have uh, what you call the, the, the gold mines uh -huh. of, of, of impurities, mm -hmm. and that is the pornography, the mm -hmm. social media, mm -hmm. uh, texting and sexting, and then you have things with the music mm -hmm. and the effect of music. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, understanding sexual purity God's way. Because mm -hmm. now, like you're saying, most of us understand the sexual purity mm -hmm. in a worldly way. Whereby we are trying to use, uh, uh, let me say, physical things mm -hmm. to walk in purity. Mm -hmm. And remember the Bible in the book of Ephesians 6, which is part of that book, okay. that uh, uh, for your waging war, mm -hmm. not against flesh and blood, yeah, yeah. but against principalities, principalities. Uh, yeah. and all those powers are dark one. Yes. Sexual sin mm -hmm. is a spiritual, uh, 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 is, is a spiritual, uh, let me say, principality. Mm -hmm. You cannot fight anything spiritual with the physical thing. Correct. So using the what the Bible says about purity, mm -hmm. and uh, I've given also a guidance on how to walk in purity and how to come out of, uh, maybe find yourself in the same mm -hmm. uh, problem, mm -hmm. how do you come out of it, mm -hmm. and the purity guidelines. Mm -hmm. And uh, one thing I've emphasized in that book is, sexual purity is not only about the act. Mm -hmm. Some of us, mm -hmm. feel I, I, as long as you have a, a penetration, yes. then I'm okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also find that most teenagers on the corridors, mm -hmm. in towns, mm -hmm. in, 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 in my tattoos, mm -hmm. they're busy really licking each other. Mm -hmm. And, and then said, I didn't have sex. Mm. We only had to make out. We just mm. touched one another. But mm -hmm. if you remember what the Bible says in the book of Ephesians 3, uh, 5 verse 3 is, mm -hmm. but among us, there should not be any, any. hint. Yes. So even masturbation, I would say masturbation is a hint. Mm -hmm. Pornography is a hint. Mm -hmm. Touching, kissing, mm -hmm. and all those body caressing, those are hints. Mm -hmm. When Christ is coming back and looking at you, mm -hmm. it's like, okay, you didn't have the penetration. Mm -hmm. But I gave you a method one, which mm -hmm. is right. Mm -hmm. Like those people in high school, mm -hmm. maybe what you can say. When someone is marking a maths paper, mm -hmm. he'll mark method mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. method yeah. two, mm -hmm. method mm -hmm. three. Correct. Yeah. And then probably worship didn't get the right answer. Mm. But you'll be given three out of four. Yeah. So the methods are being the marked. methods, yeah. So Christ is looking at you, oh, you just touched, or oh, you, you really made this lady to be so excellent yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, those are mark, those are mark. Mm -hmm. Okay, you penetrate, but already you're dancing. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wow, this is deep. Now you realize. Yeah. I think you've, uh, you've touched on some other topics which yeah. I believe we still need to find some time. Please, yes. if you will allow us yes, yes. to have you come back again. No problem. Yes. Because, uh, because uh, now from music, I'm not imagining from the music, from especially the yeah. pop culture, yeah. the gingeton and all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now from that music, people are getting into pornography. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that now leads now into masturbation. Yes. And now sex before marriage. Yes. Now you realize, uh, pornography is a topic by itself. Yeah. Masturbation is another topic by itself. Yes. In fact, we've not even, uh, you know, scratched, uh, gotten deeper yeah. Into, yeah. into the topic We're that we just, we've on just the had. Surface. Yeah, we are still on the surface. Very true. Now, time is not on our side. Wow. Sadly. Sadly. For this session today, time isn't on our side. However, I will plead again with Pastor Douglas Hallelujah. to make a comeback wow. so that we may continue talking about this subject. He is an authority uh, in this subject. We have had him at the camps, and guys who've been in those sessions can attest that he's actually fed as well. Mm -hmm. Now, I strongly believe that 
Uh, the rapport we've created today, wow. uh, it is still uh, opening doors for more opportunities for us to be able Great. to talk about this subject more and more. And when our churches open, uh, I, would, uh, I would request that we just have a retreat. Awesome. So that we just get out uh, with him. Yeah. So that we just, you know, we have uh, this question. Yes, we just sit on the grass. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. we eat nyamachoma pole pole uh, with our drinks as we have the question, the Q&A, for us to be able to demystify all these yeah. myths. Now, in parting shot, uh, let, me, let me give worship a chance mm -hmm. to give us a parting shot, then Pastor Douglas, and then uh, we wind up for today, but we are coming back. Worship. Okay. Uh I'd just like to thank all of you for staying in and for listening. It's a, it's a nice topic, and I'm so glad to have Pastor Douglas here. And thank you for organizing this. Um, it was really nice. You see, time just flew. You didn't <laughs> even notice, yeah. Yes. So um, it's, it's a great topic, and I feel like we should talk about it more, especially because of the youth. And um, I'm, I'm personally grateful because I, I, I've learned about it thanks to you and for the, all the other teachers in the Sunday School Ministry. Um, it's nice to have an idea of what it is and, uh, and everything about it. So um, keep learning, go do some research yourself. And uh, yes, I hope you guys enjoy your week or wherever you are, whatever you'll be doing. And please, let's abstain from this thing, as sweet as it may sound, as arousing as it may sound. Please, let us have our limits. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Worship. What well, a nice food. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're going to bless us, my dear? Thank yeah. you. Yes. <laughs> Pastor Douglas? Yeah, at least we have remnants. If, if she's speaking like this, uh -huh. I think I'm, I'm very comfortable. Amen. Uh, that even when we go for other camps, yes. we just sit down with you. Sure. And allow her to teach and mm -hmm. feel that God gives you the same grace. Amen. Thank you. you. Authority <laughs> and, and speak to other teenagers. Amen. Uh, what I can just say is um, if you're able to get this book, it will help your teenager. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very nice book. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and in terms of probably the topic of today is uh, sexual purity is not a stage. You don't mm -hmm. reach. Mm -hmm. You don't reach a point to say that I'm now sexually pure mm -hmm. or I'm able to just a meal. Uh, uh, it's something that you do daily. You're because married. even those who are married, they also need to practice sexual purity. Yes. Yeah. It, it continues even in Correct. marriage. Correct. So you don't say that when I get married, I will not be sexually pure. I'll mm -hmm. prove myself. Whatever you do, remember that the Bible says that whatever you sow, mm -hmm. you reap. You reap. Mm -hmm. So it's not a stage, it's a continuous thing. That's why the Bible says that pursue sexual purity. purity. So it's a sign that you do every day. Wake up in the morning and say, mm -hmm. Today, God help me that I may not do what? Mm -hmm. Be tempted to do what? Kukatia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because I'm married. Mm -hmm. So you have to say that go today, I choose to walk in purity. It's mm -hmm. a daily thing. And mm -hmm. then you need to die daily. Mm -hmm. Telling God that I die. And that's why Paul said that. Mm -hmm. I crucify my flesh daily. Daily, yes. So don't say that today I'm pure. I'm not mm -hmm. to walk. It's a daily thing. <laughs> choose to walk daily mm -hmm. in purity. Mm -hmm. And you know what? It's the best you can ever give God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Wow. I lack words to will express how I feel within myself. Guys, we are in a Christmas season, and I know uh, it might give us time to be by ourselves. Let us be smart managers of our time and smart managers of ourselves. Because us protecting our bodies today, uh, it will be a gift for us tomorrow and the generation that is coming after us. So it is upon you and me to keep ourselves pure for the ones we love and for the generation that is coming after us that we may be able to also pass the same message to them. To our young people, sex is not the only thing in life. Even if you want to get married today, don't think that we'll be having sex every night. There are nights we'll just be sleeping and you realize, oh, Kobe, it is not just the only <laughs> thing that people do in marriage. No, there is more to marriage than just sex. So guys, so this is what I tell ladies. You see the worship America. Ladies, learn to keep your legs crossed. <laughs> very, very tight. Yes. OK? Yeah. yeah. Keep them tight. Keep them tight like this until the right time. For the brothers, I normally tell them, look for a very, very good belt, OK? <laughs> to hold your trouser in position. I think yeah. the Bible says that uh -huh. in the book of Ephesians, yes. that the belt of truth. It protects <laughs> your trousers exactly. from going down. From going down. Yeah. Okay, so get a very, very good belt. Whether it's leather or wherever, as long as it is good, 
to hold your pants in position. Now, I said you're not going to call uh, um, uh, a spade something else. Uh, a spatula. A spade is a spade. A spatula is the one you use in the chemistry lab. Yes. So let us keep ourselves pure. Let us keep ourselves. It looks like honey, which means it is not the original Smooth, honey. Yeah. Go for the original honey. During okay. The honeymoon. Yeah, during the honeymoon. Okay. That is where we say at the honeymoon there is no network because there is only honey. So <laughs> go scoop the honey from the honeymoon and keep yourselves pure because you are a generation that we need to protect and also a generation coming after you. What will you have to pass down to them? So uh, as we look forward to another session where we are going to clarify all these issues one by one, guys stay tuned and let the word of God guide your steps for his glory. Let me allow Pastor Douglas to give us an opening prayer as we end the session today. Thank you so much for watching and we hope that you join us again next time. Wow. God bless you. Wow, thank Amen. you so much. Um, it's been a wonderful session and we want to pray for everyone who is watching us. Um, uh, those who will watch this later on. Mm. For every parent, for every teenager. So God will just rain in our hearts mm. and that we will do this because of God. Amen. Let's pray. Mm. Uh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for thank you, Lord. just a wonderful moment in your presence. Mm. The Lord has given us this chance, this opportunity, mm. uh, just to use us as your vessel, God, to speak your word to this nation, to yes, speak Lord. your word, may God, to the world. Mm. Just to minister uh, uh, your word, may God, even to the teenagers, Lord, that are watching us for, may God, through this platform of uh, Redeemed Church, uh, God, Liberty, the mm. Lord, we are able to is bring a good news, my God, because mm. God, what the world is waiting for is good news, Jesus. Yes, Lord. And as we celebrate even the birth of your son, Jesus Christ, during this season, my God, of Christmas, God, the Lord mm. will be able to receive the good news. Mm. The Lord, the shepherd, received King of glory, Lord. Oh, the yes. good news of your word, the good news of what you desire for us, my God. Mm. The good news of what you want us to do with our purity, Jesus. Mm. The good news, Jesus, mm. even what you intend for us, my God, even to do as we interact with one another during mm. this season, Jesus. Mm. We want to pray the Lord, every teenager that is watching this uh, uh, telecast, King of Lord, the mm. Lord, you will work in them, my God, both to will and to do, God, that they mm. may be able to obey you, mm. they may be able to honor you with their mm. purity, with their body, because Lord, you are the Lord, that our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit, oh, yes. Jesus, who dwells in us. Mm. And Father, we pray that, Lord, everyone, my God, who is... Um, under our voice tonight, King of Lord, the Lord will mm. be able to understand the Lord. Their bodies are mm. not supposed to be used, my God, for sexual immorality, Jesus. Oh, yes. The Lord, their bodies are not supposed to be used by any sugar daddy or sugar mommy as a teenager, Jesus. The mm. Lord, their bodies mm. are not supposed to be an experimental tool, my God, for mm. whatever works or not working, King of Lord. Because God, I know that you are the one who gives the ability, my Father, to do, mm. which is right, King of Lord. God, I pray for everyone, my God. I pray that their lives, my God, should transform, will be transformed mm. and be renewed by mm. your working of Lord, Lord. Mm. I thank you for everyone. Thank you for the parents. Mm. May this word that you have spoken in this place, may God bring healing. Mm. May they bring deliverance, God. May they bring Jesus mm. um, a restoration, my Father, in the teenager's life, my Father, Lord. We mm. pray that, Lord, no one will be, con will be condemned, my Father, Lord, but they'll be convicted, my Jesus, mm. to come unto you, Jesus, and let's seek your face, my God, and just submit unto you, Jesus. Mm. The Lord, they may seek your face, and Lord, they may be saved, King of Lord, Lord. We mm. pray for everyone in this place, God. Yes, thank Lord. you for the uh, the media team, God, thank you for the organizers of this place, my God. Thank you even for the whole panel, my God. Lord, you may mm. bless us and may you increase in us, Jesus, God. I oh, pray yes. for wisdom, mm. even as we continue trusting you, my God, for a transformed nation, mm. Jesus, for a transformed teenagers, God, mm. for a transformed youth, Jesus. Oh, yes. Lord, may your will be done in our lives, Jesus. We are not getting tired, my God, to pray to our teenagers, God. We are not getting tired, Jesus, mm. even to speak, my God, even mm. health, my God, in our teenagers, Jesus, God, Lord. No mm. one will be able to take them away from us, my God, mm. because, Lord, we know the devil come to steal, kill, and destroy me, God, mm. Lord. No mm. teenager will be stolen, may God, oh, from yes. you, may in the God. Name of the Lord, Jesus none Christ. shall be destroyed, may mm. God, because of sexual of sin, Jesus God. Christ. The Lord, mm. no one shall be destroyed, may oh, God, because of HIV, God. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord, none mm. of them will have mm. a destroyed future, may God, because of pregnancy, Jesus. Christ, oh, Lord. Lord, we call forth mm. every teenager, may oh, God, wherever yes. they are, in the name mm. of Jesus, Jesus God. Christ, Lord, we bring them mm. back onto you, Jesus, Lord. Devil don't have any authority over our teenagers. You want to say that, Lord, you don't have any authority, you enemy of death, 
king oh, of yes. glory. Oh, yes. We want to rebuke you mm. right now. We Come out, out of our in the name of Christ, Jesus oh, God. Mm. You want to cancel every mm. spirit of bad content of music, mighty. Jesus. Every secularism, my Christ. God. Every mm. pop culture, Jesus. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You want to delink them from our teenagers in the name of Jesus, God. We rebuke every spirit of bad music, God. Every spirit of sensual movies, God. Every spirit of music, God. That the real morality of our youth, King of glory. We rebuke you in the name of Jesus, God. Name. May you be scattered mm. right now scattered in the name in of Jesus. Jesus. Name. We speak soundness mm. even to the producers. Oh, we yes. speak soundness mm. even for the musician God. We yes, speak Lord. the Lord shall give them mm. wisdom oh, yes. in the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus God. Christ. We deliver, pray mm. the Lord may deliver us King of glory. Oh, yes. We pray the Lord may give every mm. teenager God. Oh, yes. The, 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 the spirit may go to hear, mm. to listen, Jesus, mm. even to learn from me, God, mm. that none is greater than you, Jesus. Oh, yes. May our spirit be yielded to your spirit, God, and mm. to your will for oh, your yes. glory, Jesus. Mm. Be glorified and be exalted in mm. the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thanks so much, Pastor Douglas. Thank you, too. Uh, now, uh, worship has already grabbed her copy, so this is yours. Thank you. Now, the first five. The first five to text me the teacher, I want that book. I'll get you a copy, okay? So the first five, that cost is on me. The first five, just text me the teacher, I need a copy of that book. I'll get you that copy myself, okay? Yeah. Okay, so God bless you guys. Let's meet again next time. Shalom. Shalom. Be responsible. Thank you. Amen. Great is your mercy your loving kindness taught me. Jesus, your tender mercy I see. Every day after day, 